Hello all, my name is Krish Nayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, in this specific video, we are going to create an amazing rack project with the help of DataStrax AstraDB and OpenAI LLM models and OpenAI embeddings. Not only that, I'm also going to introduce you to DataStrax rack stack, right? So rack stack is nothing but it includes all the libraries you need for the rack pattern, including the vector database, embedding pipelines and retrieval. So we'll try to develop this entire project by using this rack stack itself. If you have not yet visited DataStack, I would suggest go ahead and see this because it again provides you this DataStack AstraDB, which can actually act as a vector store, which will efficiently stay, uh, store all the vectors itself and you will also be able to query in a much more quicker way. And uh, the main aim of this particular project is that I will take up this entire data set, which is in the form of a CSV file. Here you can see three fields are there like author, quote and tags. And based on this particular sheet, we will try to query different different information based on the quotes and then it can it should be able to map the author and tags and provide us the results okay so all these things will be basically completed and not only that uh, i will be showing you step by step how do you probably create the keys how do you go ahead with it each and everything right so here it is the entire notebook i will be providing the description the link in the description of this particular video so first of all you really need to create an extra vector database and then you also have need to have an open ai key then we will go ahead and create the access token and along with that we'll also have the database id so first of all just go ahead and click on this particular link once you click and once you sign up you will be in this particular page that is called as data stacks now here here you'll be able to see multiple options create a database generate tokens invite your team you can probably work along with the team itself so first of all to create a database first of all go ahead and click on this particular database out of this particular two option that is serverless vector or serverless non vector you can probably select serverless vector because we are going to work with vector database itself you can provide the uh, database name let's say that i am providing some examples like data stacks demo okay and then I will be using AWS Web Services and here you can probably select US East 2, whatever is the default probably coming up, right? And then once you do this, you just need to click on the create database and automatically your database will get created. It will take a couple of minutes for creating this entire database itself, right? So once the database is created, I have already created the database over here which is called as demo grok, right? And here with respect to this particular databases, you will be requiring two information. One is the database ID, which is present over here. Very clearly it is shown over here because this is the key that we are going to use. Uh, this is the configurable key that we need to provide because at the end of the day, all the vectors that is probably getting created, it will be stored in this particular vector store itself. So this database is a kind of a vector store database itself, right? And uh, again, uh, apart from this, what you really need to do is that go to the token section Okay, and you really need to generate a new token, right? So first of all, here you can select an administrator user role, right? Where you will be able to see all this particular information, what all permission is basically applied. It is similar like AWS EC2 instance, whenever we try to create a role, right? At I am role, we need to provide the roles permissions for the administrator user or any kind of user that you really want to create. So once you probably click this and uh, you gen click on the generate token, your token will probably be generated. I've already done this. You can see I have created multiple tokens over here. So in order for you to generate, you just need to click on generate token. Now this two information will be specifically required when I am showing you with respect to the coding and also show you where you have to probably put that particular ID itself, right? So over here, let's go ahead and do the setup. So first of all, I will connect it to my runtime environment. So let's see what all runtime I have. I will be using T4 GPU. So I will go over here, click on connect. Okay. The first step as usual is to install Rackstack AI. Since I told you that we are going to use this data sex Rackstack, which includes all the libraries for anything that you really require to perform with respect to the RAG application, like including the vector database embedding pipeline retriever, it will actually help you to do it. Okay. So first of all, this is basically connected. We will go ahead and install this. So here you will be able to see that I am installing this over here and we go ahead and install this entire rack stack itself. Right. And uh, here you'll be able to see once this installation is done, then the next step is that we will go ahead and enter all our endpoint address. Okay. 
So guys, once the Rackstack AI installation is done, you know, so most of the libraries, you just need to import and you can start working on it. Now let's go ahead and start configuring our Astra DB, that is Datastack's Astra DB and OpenAI with the OpenAI keys itself, right? So over here, you'll be able to see that I am setting up three different keys. One is the Astra DB API endpoint in my environment variable. Now, where do you specifically get it? So if you probably go over here and click on any of the databases that you're specifically working on here, you'll be able to see API endpoint. Okay. So with respect to this particular API endpoint, you can directly copy it from here and you can directly paste it over here, right? So it will probably start with HTTPS, uh, with respect to all this particular URL and at the end of the day or at the end of the URL, you'll be able to see apps.astra.datastacks.com. Okay. So this I have pasted it over here. Then the second thing is with respect to your Astra DB application token. Now that basically means you need to generate the token. How do you generate the token? Click on the token itself over here. Click a role, let's say administrative user. Click on this. So here I have generated the token. You can download this entire token details. But out of these three information that is client ID secret and token, you have to select this and copy a it or save it in an environment variable. So here I have directly copied and pasted this entire token over here itself, right? So it will probably start with Astra CS and this will basically be your token ID, right? So this two information is there, Astra DB API endpoint, Astra DB application token. And the third one is OpenAI API key. Uh, here, what we'll do in the runtime itself when we are running this, we will be giving the OpenAI AI API key. Remember all these keys here, I'm showing it to you, but once the video is basically getting uploaded, I will be deleting all the specific keys. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do this installation or executing this particular command. Here I'm putting my OpenAI API key and I've pressed enter. Okay, so these three information are there that you specifically require. One is the AstraDB API endpoint. How do you get it? I've already shown you. Go to the databases that you have actually created. Okay, on the right hand side, you'll be able to see the API endpoint. Copy this and put it over there. Okay, now the next thing is with respect to the token and then your OpenAI API key. So once you go over there and once you complete this step, then you go and create your rag pipeline. Now for creating your rag pipeline, initially you need to import langchain underscore Astra DB. Now here you'll be able to see that I have never installed this, but how we are able to use this particular library. It is all because of this rag stack AI. Okay. So because of this automatically, most of the libraries that is being used to create the rag pipeline will be used over here. So from langchain underscore Astra DB, we are going to use Astra DB vector store, which will be responsible in storing your entire vectors. And then here I'm going to use the open AI embedding keys. I can also directly go ahead and use Cassandra, but here I'm not going to use it. So here uh, is all the details. Then I am going to initialize the open AI embeddings. And then I'm going to initialize this extra DB vector store, which will be responsible in connecting the uh, Astra DB itself. Now, here are some of the information. The first information is os.getenv Astra DB collection. Now, what is my collection name? You can put it over here. So let's say here I give it as test. Then embedding technique, what I'm actually going to use, this is the embedding that I'm going to use. The token, we since we have set up already in the environment variable, that is the Astra DB application token. So we are going to use that. And finally, your API endpoint, okay? So once this is done, your entire Astra DB uh, vector store is completely configured, okay? So this will probably take some amount of time. And uh, anyhow, I will be giving you this entire code file in the description of this particular video, you can go ahead and check it out. So here you can see Astra DB vector store is configured. Now we are going to play with this data set. We will read this particular data set and use it in the form of Q&A, okay? So in order to load the data set, I'm going to use the library from data sets, load data set. That basically means this, this data set that is related to data stacks, you'll be able to use it, right? And since we are going to use this, so that is the reason we have imported this. Then we will be using this load data set, uh, load data set and be, uh, I'll write the data set slash philosopher quotes and we will be using the training data and some of the example entries we can probably see the first six and 16 entries. And here you will be seeing that it is being asking me for the HF token grant access. 
Uh, HF token is nothing but my hugging face token since we are downloading the data set from the hugging face. So we will definitely be requiring a hugging face token. In order to get the hugging face token, just go to the settings button over here. And if you go over here, you will be seeing something called as access token. You can copy this access token and use it uh, inside your notebook file. How to use it? Just click on grant access. Here you'll be able to see in my secret key, HF token is already put up, right? So over here with respect to this particular HF token, it will be able to access it and it will be able to download this entire data set, right? So you also require a hugging face token over here, right? Again, in order to get this, you just go to the settings, access token you'll be getting over here, create a secret key with the name of HF underscore token and the key name, whatever is probably getting from this particular page that is hugging face, okay? So once you probably do this, then what we will do is that these are some of the example entries that you'll be able to see with respect to every records that you can actually see from this particular data set. Now the next thing is that, see our data set looks something like this, author, quote and tags. It is just like an Excel file which has three fields, okay, author, quote and tags. We will be reading all this information. This quote is my main information. This author and tags are like my metadata information. So here what we are doing is that here we will be setting, uh, we'll be constructing a set of documents from the data. Documents can be used as input to your vectors. Okay. So what we are doing over here, we are going with respect to every data set. We are traversing through every data set. Then here a variable is created, which is called as metadata. We are putting that metadata information with respect to author. Then we are saying that if tags is present, right, we are going to split that particular tag and then we are going to set up this particular value that basically means we are adding metadata tags to the metadata dictionary. And then finally, we create a Langchain document with the quote and metadata tags. So here you can see document, we are using the page content, entry quote, and then finally, we are also using the metadata and we are appending the documents. You will be getting an idea how this particular documents looks like, okay? So let me just go and show you the documents. So here is how your documents looks like, right? Your, you have author, can't, education, why, knowledge, why, then here is your entire document, right? So if you see this document, you will also be seeing the metadata information that has been attached. Metadata is author is nothing but can't, right? Similarly, other one, you can see document page, even a man, this one is there, and then metadata you have, who is the author, ethics, knowledge, yes or no, right? So this is basically, uh, selecting whether this field has knowledge ethics. If it has knowledge, it is going to consider it as why. Otherwise, it is just going to skip it. Okay, just to keep that particular information in mind. So these are my entire documents that you can probably see. Now we are going to create the embedding and we will insert this document into our vector store. Understand? The vector store that we are specifically using is nothing but DataStax uh, Astra DB. So here V store is already created. Here you can probably see. Uh, v store is there. Where is the V store? Okay, here V store variable is there, which is our type Astra DB vector store. And then we can probably add all these documents over there, right? So here we can see V store dot add documents with respect to docs. And let's go ahead and insert all these 450 documents that are there. So this will take some amount of time, but understand here you can see, oh, it is already in, uh, inserted also. So this is amazingly well, so nice speed and all. So if I go ahead and reload this here, you'll be able to see that all the readings are there and that particular data has been probably stored in this particular DB itself, right? So all the information over here and with respect to this, how many requests are there? How many throughputs are there? See total number of records are 50, right? And here the similarity, so the similarity algorithm that is basically going to get applied is nothing but cosine similarity. So here you can see 450 records in this particular test collection, it is inserted. Okay, so good, good enough. Uh, here you can see all the inserted documents are there. Now, let's go ahead and do this. And before I go ahead, let me go ahead and see what is the name that I've actually kept. Okay, and this is important, the collection name. The collection name that I've specifically used is nothing but test. So I'm going to use the same test over here, okay? And I'll put it over here. So now checks your collection to verify the documents are embedded or not. So here we are going to print astradb.collection of test.find. So if you go ahead and probably check it out, here you'll be able to see that you'll be getting some information with respect to the document ID and all in the form of vectors. So all of these are like vectors, you know? So all the vectors are basically getting converted and stored into the 
data stacks astra db right so all these are vectors you can probably see with respect to all the information over here right perfect now let's go ahead and do the basic retrieval and again here we are going to use langchain we are going to use open ai and all so here uh, you can see see langchain also i have not imported separately there is something called as rack stack automatically it is provided by the data st uh, data stacks itself so what we are doing is that we are just installing rack stack and automatically you'll be able to see that all the libraries are installed over here so from langchain.prompts we are going to use chat prompt template chat open ai string output parser runnable pass through and then we are saying that we will convert this vector store which is a vector store db as retriever now if you don't know what is as retriever this is nothing but it is an interface that is being attached to the vector store so that we get the results out of it and we are saying that provide me the top three results okay along with this we are going to set up the prompt template uh, we are saying that answer the question based on the supply context if you don't know the answer say you don't know it otherwise based on the context your answer it will probably give it then we will be using a chat prompt template already we know that this uh, entire prompt template is created so chat prompt template dot form template we are going to use this prompt template we are going to initialize chat open api um, and then we are going to use this context is called retriever question is called to running will pass through uh, runnable parser through and we are going to append the prompt the model and the string output parser right so this will basically be creating my entire llm chain okay so llm chain will also work in this specific manner first of all it will consider this particular context whatever return or documents that is coming from there in the from the vector db um, from the astra db sorry which is nothing but it is a vector store db then we have prompt then we have model then we have string output parser prompt is nothing but whatever prompt we have defined over here then model is going to act on this specific prompt based on the context that it has and finally it is going to display so here in order to execute it we'll just write chain dot invoke in the given context what subjects are philosopher mostly concerned with so one of the question from this particular statement right uh, regarding philosopher it is uh, and then we are going to basically ask that particular question from there so once we execute this okay so here you can see philosophers are mostly concerned with knowledge and truth so that basically means here in the tags wherever knowledge and truth was there with respect to that particular statement that you are able to get it over there now let's try some more examples so here let's t pick up something right so men best shows the characters in truffles okay uh, i'll try to show with you with some of the tags tags itself right what is the difficulty okay what is the difficulty okay something some information is over here what is the uh, what subjects are what difficulties okay i will just say like this the difficulty most concerned with with the context are related to determining the possibilities principle and extent of human knowledge so somewhere some information it is being able to pick it up and it is being able to show it to us right it is the most important to allow the brain to fully measure the sleep what is the most important thing to allow the brain okay so like this i will try to write out sentence what is the most important to allow the brain let's see whether it will be able to give me the the most important to allow is full measure of sleeps required to restore it now this is amazing right uh, and here you can actually see so many different things are there okay or i'll say what is the most important to allow the brain and provide me the tags let's see i'm just writing something okay at least it will be able to give me the see ethics and knowledge right and all this information are probably coming up and here you can see that how efficient it is further if you really want to delete the collection you can probably delete it from here so here i will just show you how to delete it also uh v store is not there expected indent okay no worries this was it and finally you can see that i'm also deleting the collections over here so from end to end completely from starting till deleting the collection everything is shown from here to here and here you can probably see that with respect to your data set just by setting up the metadata and all you will also be able to do all these things right and again thank you for this amazing thing that has been brought up by data stacks itself uh, the entire uh, astra db which is amazing 
altogether with respect to creating your rack pipeline and obviously with this particular rack stack you can see how much easy the installation has basically happened so yes this was it for my side i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you and all take care bye bye